Onshape lets you import and work with 3D geometry from a variety of neutral and native CAD formats, such as Parasolid, Step, Inventor and SolidWorks, which is ideal if you share data with customers and suppliers, or with colleagues who use different CAD tools. In the video called Using Supplier Models, we looked at how you can use direct editing to modify this imported model. First we used the split command to break it into two parts and separate the rod from the cylinder. Then we used the move face command to extend the rod to the required length. To give it motion, we then created an assembly of both parts and added a slider mate with limits to define the length of the stroke. But what if you need a cylinder with a different stroke? Instead of importing a model for each variation, you can use variables. First, roll back the model before the previous edits. Create a new variable, call it stroke, and give it a value. Now you need to add two move face features, one to set the minimum stroke length, and one to set the maximum. Box select the entire front end of the cylinder, select move face, and choose a face or edge to set the direction. Enter 400 for the distance, and make sure you flip the direction to give you the minimum stroke. To make the maximum stroke dependent upon the variable you created, select the same faces again and create another move face feature. Use the same direction reference as before, and for the distance, type the hash symbol followed by the variable name. Now you just need to roll to the end of the feature list and you have a fully parametric cylinder driven by a variable. Well, not quite, you also need to adjust the length of the rod by editing the move face feature and drive the length using the same variable. Now when you change that variable, all the features in both parts of the cylinder will update. Just one more thing left to do, and that's to control how far the rod can move in the assembly. If you edit the slider mate, you can see that the limits have discrete values. You can't use the stroke variable because it's in the part studio, but what you can do is set the limits using two mates instead of one. If you click in the maximum limit field, press delete and click out again, you'll see that it changes to no maximum, which is pretty cool. Now add a new cylindrical mate and choose the mate connector on the back of the rod end and the mate connector on the cylinder. Remember, you don't have to click right on the mate connector to select it, just click when you see it. As you drag the rod, you can see that the offset values are negative, so set the limits to no minimum and the maximum to be the clearance between the rod end and the cylinder. The combination of these two mates with limits constrains the motion of the rod to the correct stroke length. Now when you change the variable controlling the stroke of the cylinder, in the Parts Studio, not only does the Parts Studio update, but the Assembly updates as well. So now you can drive your imported models just like you modelled them from scratch, using direct editing and variables.